All right. Hello, hello. This is going to be a video on using the Linux install scripts for OpenCats. I'm pretty excited about this. Um, I think I tend to babble about this, but for non-technical people, the installation process, especially in Linux, is just a pain in the butt. Um, these scripts do all of it. It's awesome. I'm super excited about this. <clears throat> uh, and I'm going to show a couple of the differences, but uh, the documentation by itself is substantially shorter. There's very few commands you have to enter. It's like two or three. And the total time, uh, even when you're following the instructions and everything goes quick and smooth, goes from about 30 minutes down to about 10. Really the biggest uh, time chunk at this point is your download speed and your computer hardware. Um, so this is really really something if you're running Linux. And, uh, yeah, try it out. Let us know what you think. Now there's one thing and I tried to stress this in the documentation but this these scripts are only for systems that do not have a LAMP stack running. And by that I mean web software, Apache, MySQL, or MariaDB, and PHP. If you're already running web software from this machine, like a WordPress site or something that is pushed out to the internet, and you have uh, Apache, MySQL, PHP installed, uh, this is going to overwrite everything. It'll, it'll demolish whatever uh, you've got in place. So do not run these scripts if you're already running web software from this machine. Now I am doing this on a Debian virtual machine. I'm only going to do one video because the process is the same regardless of your distribution. Uh, the scripts are different. The commands that it's doing and running are different. Uh, but as far as the keys you have to type on the keyboard and the process you, the person doing the installation, has to do, it is no different whatsoever whether it's in Ubuntu or the CentOS. So <clears throat> one video, one documentation. Now we'll need our terminal. I'm running LXDE, non-technical people. Eh, I don't know if you understand that. And I'm going to have... Firefox. Now I wanted to do this on an absolutely clean install with nothing on the machine. I have set it up and tore it down on this virtual machine before and I frankly just didn't feel like setting up another virtual machine. So if we were to look at the commands as the scripts running we would see some small differences but the reality of it is this is how it's going to go. So first thing I'm going to do is pull up the documentation. So I'm just going to type in OpenCats documentation and Google. We're at the top. OpenCats-documentation.readthedocs.io. I will have the address under the video, we can see install scripts Linux right here. Now I'm going to do something for the sake of showing the difference. I'm going to open up, well, let's just do Debian 8. Tell you what, get rid of that. Bring this over here. All right, let's just do a side by side. This is the install scripts. This is where we start typing one command, two commands, three commands, four commands, and then all of a sudden we're in the GUI. The rest is automated. And Debian uh, 8 Jesse and all the other ones, we go. This is all commands, commands, stuff we're doing, stuff we're doing. Oh, there's the GUI. This is a half an hour right here. So, pretty awesome. Alright, now 
if you have any head for computer stuff, you don't have to do the first couple things in terminal. I'm just trying to do it in such a way that it's consistent for everybody. So even if you don't know anything, open up a terminal and you can really copy and paste. Now we have to maximize because the command goes off. So the first thing we're going to do on this note right here, I know CentOS doesn't have wget installed by default. I'm not sure about Debian. I think it does. But if you run this and you get a wget error, then just install wget and the install commands are right here. And then redo this. Also note, we are not doing this as sudo. We are doing this as a regular user. I'm in my home directory. There's no need to change it. And I'm running Debian 8, so I'm going to get this whole thing right here. Copy. Paste. Enter. Script is downloaded. Now, again, if you're experienced, you don't have to do this, but this will make it easier. So we're going to type ls to list what's in the directory. This is my main home folder. We can see my install script right here. I'm going to select, right click, copy, and then we're going to make the script executable with this command right here. So I'm going to say sudo chmod space plus x space, and then I'm going to paste the exact script name. You can type it out, you can do it however you want. This has to be exact capital letters, non-capital letters, dashes, hyphens, all of it has to be exact. So sudo chmod space plus x space, then the script name, don't forget the dot sh on the end, enter. Password, done, ls, see it's green, it's not green here, that's executable, that's good. Now we're going to run it, this is so hard, sudo space. now dot forward slash script name enter now this is nuts ha okay if you know github you may know exactly what I did uh, but I had this download address incorrect I was getting all the HTML and everything this is correct now so I have deleted uh, the scripts basically gonna just start over all that work down the tubes okay so again I'm using Debian make sure you're using the right the right script for your distro so I'm gonna copy that whole line and it will work now just going to paste it there, hit enter, script is downloaded, type ls, see my script, have to give it executable permissions, sudo space chmod space plus x space script name. Enter. Done. ls just to see it's green. That's good. Now we're going to run it. sudo dot forward slash script name enter. Now it's working because it's an actual script. Now watch. We don't have to do anything. Everything is done. Now I'm going to flip this over to the Debian instructions. Right now we are installing all the my as all of the front end software in MySQL, Apache, uh, PHP, yep, PHP, all of the extensions. I think everything that needs to be installed is happening right now. After that, it'll set up the MariaDB database, and I don't think we'll see those commands just happens. Right now it is downloading the OpenCats files. So we're right here.
hopefully this won't take too long I don't want the, the video to drag out but if memory serves last time I did this or ran this straight through I think the script installation part honestly took like five to seven minutes total my internet's running a little slow And by a little slow, I mean a lot slow, I guess. <clears throat> I don't know if it's my internet or GitHub or what. But uh, another option would be, and I'm not sure most Windows people would do this, but if you're just um, kind of a solo person sitting at home, uh, you could also just install VirtualBox throw Ubuntu up in there, use this script, zip through the whole installation, and you would have resume indexing tools, which I think I said in one of the other videos, but I think resume indexing isn't really working right now anyway, so it's kind of moot. I'm going to pause this until this particular part is done. One thing to note, seeing as how we're uh, waiting right here if you see this and this where it says error that's because I've run this script before and the MariaDB database is already there that won't happen for you it will actually create the database and the user so this will not affect anything all right I finished that up and extracted shot through that I wasn't able to unpause quick enough now we're in composer and again, the composer—it's <laughs> done. Now, uh, the composer—it's <laughs> so great. Okay, so I'm scrolling back up because it actually went too quick to go over. Anyway, this was—it was done downloading the OpenCats files, uh, and that was extracting them into the folder. Now, here it started the composer process. Now, this part is going to be much slower. Um, because I have already this stuff, and this is about 40 different things downloaded onto my system, so all I did was install. So when you're running it, it will download, install, download, install, download, install. And it, it really depends on your internet and your computer. Um, but this one uh, recruiter I was working with uh, in uh, Malaysia to set his up, it took like, gosh, maybe a half an hour to get all through that. Generally, it goes quicker. Um, if you get any funky things like this, don't worry about it. You should not have any errors through this whole script. Um, over time, there may appear to be errors because I've got specific software versions in here, and that's going to change. So at some point, I'm going to have to make sure that these things stay current, and maybe somebody better with scripting can... Uh, script it in such a way that it will handle the the variations of the software numbers but I don't know how to do that yet so that's something I'll learn and update as we go but for now these things are rocking so this is composer over here all that all the directory permissions were done it doesn't show that now when you're done down here setup finished your OpenCAT's applicant tracking system should now be installed. My SQL was installed without, without a root password. It is recommended that you set up a MySQL root password. If this is on your local machine, yeah, I don't know. I don't know personally that it really matters, but that's not a security opinion. <laughs> you need to set one up. Um, don't take that as security advice that's not my thing so yes set a MySQL root password but that's it you're good now we go to the browser for the rest and it's actually a little bit better in the browser too we tweaked a couple things so we're gonna go to localhost forward slash open cats 
I changed the directory name to OpenCATS, no numbers, no capital letters, just nice easy OpenCATS. That happened in the script. Installation wizard, all green, automatically. Click next. Now this stuff, you don't have to change this. Uh, when this set up this, it used this information. So everything that's default in these boxes is now correct. All green. New installation. Now this we do have to change. I'm trying to figure out how to resolve that. I haven't figured that out yet. But So we're going to have to go forward slash USR forward slash BIN forward slash. And then we're going to copy and paste. Oh shoot, I just, uh, I'm going to restart. Dang it. Yeah, I don't think back. All right, we'll go through real quick. We're good. We're good. Uh, we can do this because this is a new install. I'm going to paste. Problem is, I clicked skip instead of next. Test. Now it'll take a second. It doesn't recognize it yet. There. See? Green. Good. I'm turning this off. Next. Set your time zone. Uh, I am Eastern Time. Set your month and date format. US, wherever, whatever you prefer. Not doing this. Click Next. That's it. This is done. That was nothing. That is easier by far than a Windows install. Username, admin, password, admin. I'll say it again. Change your password first. Settings. Change password. Current password, admin. New password, new password. You can use a different password. Change password. It boots you. We go back in. Username admin. Password. New password. That's it. We're done. This works. That's it. Let me know what you think. Thanks.